folks we are very excited this is the longest five minutes back once again on youtube with another cracker episode i guarantee you this is gonna blow the top off almost all of the videos on youtube hopefully fingers crossed because he's uh, one of my personal favorite actors the most favorite politician at the moment because he speaks the truth and nothing but the truth Mr. Ranjan Ramanayaka. Honorable Ranjan Ramanayaka. Don't call me honorable. Why? We are using taxpayers' money. <laughs> so, you're honorable because you paid for our car permit, our salary, my home uh, electricity bill, water yeah. bill. And uh, this is the only job after five years you gave pension. Pension scheme. <laughs> uh, you know, in parliament, mm -hmm. that's a rule. Every three months you have to appear on only one, one time. You can uh, go through members' entrance to the parliament. Okay. Right? No need to go to the chamber. Hmm. You can go to the canteen. You can go to the dining hall. And just mark. No, no. You attend. Well, it can come out. You are in the parliament one, uh, once in three months. And uh, for the year, it's, it uh, count four times. Four okay. times. So four times a year. So five years, 20 times. Correct. So no need to talk. Uh, no need to appear to the adjournment motion or standing orders or uh, kind of like uh, speeches. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Uh, so many people did that. in Among that 225, so many people did that. So enter to the parliament, go to the dining hall, eat and come back and uh, go to your home and sleep and after five years you get pension. This is only parliament like that. I think these kind of facilities. So <laughs> how can you call me honorable? I know that's a good <laughs> question. But uh, out of pure respect, because I also firmly believe that you are the representation of people who took the time to vote you in. Yeah. So it is the people's mandate also. Yeah, I'm not a list MP. In that way, uh, I think we as citizens of this country should respect the people who are truly elected. Um, Thank you. They may have their faults. That is understood now. Maybe I, wrong selection. Uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe wrong selection, but we have to honor that. This is the first English interview that you have ever done. Yes. It's a rare thing, no? It's a rare because, thing. Because I was we, surprised because there are so many interviews of you on YouTube, on television. There was one with subtitles as well. Yeah. Then I realized, uh, then I was very uh, worried because I really wanted you on the show. Yeah. And I wanted to conduct this in English. Uh -huh. That's when I called you. Yeah. And then you spoke to me in perfect English. And you told me, uh, you don't know English. I said... Uh, is my English is perfect? I, 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 mean, I think I used... You speak much better English. than some of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in school, mm. I was a pain for my uh, English teacher. Mm. I create all the nicknames to him okay. and never let him to uh, teach to the other students. Okay. So he cursed me. I think that's what happened to me. <laughs> uh, my screen name is Ranjar Ramanayaka. Yeah. Uh, he called me, still I remember. Alfonso, I'm going to start the class. Go out. That was so his first. I, it's same in my mind. So he cursed me. You never learn English because I I very playful those days. Okay. This would have been yeah. some time ago, right? Yeah, some time ago. This first, is the first uh, English interview. First English interview and uh, you told So sorry, oh, I'm, for the listeners, I'm, I want to tell. Sorry for my broken English. I'm not uh, fluent in English. Uh, okay, I'll try to be transparent and I try to be very honest and we'll, we'll try. We'll try. Yeah. Yeah, because I think this is also part of being your character or your, the person that you are because yeah. you are very brutally honest about things. Yeah. And, uh, brutally honest. Brutally honest. Which bitter is, truth. Bitter truth. That's why yeah. we wanted you. Back in the day, yeah. everybody learned English in Sri Lanka. Yeah. There was a quick change that you told me that happened. Yeah. Because there may be people, yeah. this may be one of the only countries in the world where we laugh at people who can't speak a language. Exactly. exactly. That's, a, that's a very terrible thing. Well, I was in Japan like one year ago. I want to go to a massage uh, place. Yeah. No, well, you can get a oh, good food, yeah. food massage. Yeah, <laughs> food massage. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, food massage. <laughs> but I can't lie. Full body massage. <laughs> Happy ending. 
Yeah. <laughs> Order that. Yeah. I want to ask where is the Mazad place, the Mazad palace. They can't speak English. There's a terrible thing happened. But nobody laughs. Yeah. In China also same. They respect their language. But in Sri Lanka, if you do a tiny small mistake, they let you down and you like Godea countryman and it's a terrible thing. I don't know. So what uh, what was that quick change? Uh, what was Another thing is, yeah, I want to tell you. That. Those days in my parents' time, like uh, 1940s, in that time, my father used to go to Marcella College, the same college I went. If you talk in Sinhalese, there's a fine. Siling hmm. Pahak or something. If you talk in Sinhalese, for one word they charge. They learn Shakespeare, English, literature. They well read and very very good uh, what foundation. Hmm. After uh, Mr. Bandar Naik came to power, free education. So he changed all the rules. But he sent his own daughter to Sobon, own son to Cambridge. Mr. Bandaranaika was the president of uh, Students Union in Oxford, I think. He's the only one. After that, I think uh, Mr. Akhilwad Muldi became the president of some title in Oxford University. Okay. They did a very bad thing to people. I think English is very important in this time. In the, uh, when you want to operate a, even a remote control, play, rewind, fast forward, everything is in, in a phone. I mean, when we are in a flight, we are go outside of the country. You need English, but uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, Sir Honorable Prime Minister Bandar Naik sent his daughter and son and everybody. My, my aunt is uh, Chandika Kumar Bandar Naik. She is fluent in French. She is fluent in English. She studied in Stobon. They studied in very qualified, uh, recognized universities in the world. They let people to study in countryside schools and they are still suffering to find a job without English. All right, folks, this is the longest five minutes. We're going to take a quick coffee break with Dalmai Coffee. On the other side, more of Mr. Ranjan Ramanayaka and Asanka Sahabal. <laughs> All right, folks, we're back once again with the longest five minutes with Kyo, Kyo. <laughs> What is that noise they use in movies? Is, is it yeah, from an Indian? The introduction, the, uh, Every introduction yeah. is kyo, 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 kyo. I did a film called One Shot One. It's a political yes. uh, political movie. So when when the hero comes to the screen, appear, when the hero appears, that's how they attack me. So I put that, it worked well. <laughs> still you. Ah, still yeah. you. Are you learning English at the moment? or what? what at the moment, the yeah, honorable speaker, organizer, English class uh, through uh, British Council. Okay. My teacher's name is Huak. Huak. Yeah. All the members who wants to learn English, British English, uh, they can join to uh, our class. Okay. So it's already started. I did uh, more than six classes now. Okay. Is it before, conducted? Before, yeah. Is it conducted in like a British party? Council? British Council. Yeah. Okay. British Council teachers used to come to Parliament room number two. There's classes. The people who fluent in English. They harass us from English. Uh, I'm not boasting about me, exaggerating about me, but in single I can fight like without without kadu I can fight with uh, anybody, <laughs> even uh, very uh, senior politicians I can fight with yeah. my language. Yeah. But when English comes, it will be scared, you know. Yeah. They found like uh, uh, Shakespeare words and try to hammer us, try to hit us from that uh, like gospel truth then Shakespeare like that. then we scared and we thrown off <laughs> yeah, thrown off. so I thought uh, okay to fight to them you must learn English good English very good I think that's a really nice way to go about it because uh, someone of his caliber and uh, someone who has accomplished himself as a politician and probably one of the most searched and followed people on Facebook, am I right? Yeah, yeah you are, no? 767,000 plus. So, uh, for you to do that, I think you are also giving a good lesson to our general viewers out there. If anybody wants to learn English, it's never too late. Yeah, the thing is, I saw some politicians, sometimes they give public speeches. You must think about our language, Sinhalese, and you must send your children, children to Sinhalese schools. But they are, they are children. They are studying in Australia, they are studying in America, 
they are studying in the, uh, England. That's how they are. The Valmikil Rathaniel situation. situation. No? The thing is, in the parliament, when they are in trouble, when they can't fight with the opponent, they very, very trickily, they change the language. They, the guys like Vimal Vigiramashan, I'm sorry for mentioning his name. Okay. In our party also, uh, we can't fight with him. So why don't you start in English? So they, they, they use that language as a weapon. So you mean to say yeah. that in parliament, yeah. should anyone feel like a member of another party is going to win an yeah. argument, yeah. they switch to English yeah. because then his rebuttal or his response is going to be thrown off. Yeah, that's true. What? Yeah, that, that's a very bad thing because uh, like senior, senior members and who learn, who studied in uh, overseas. They, yeah, they, so, they, but then Mr. Ramanaka, what are those microphones for? I thought translators are... It takes have... time and no flow. When somebody is talking in English, you can't ask a question from Sinhalese. No? So that's the thing. Sometimes they said, ah, ask this bill. The, the only way to do it, uh, raise it in English language. A lot of uh, innocent members come from countryside. They don't know what is what they are talking. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They don't know why, what bill, yeah. they don't know why they raise their hand, but uh, that, that that thing happened so many times. So I noticed that. Okay. So, so moving away from the language uh, conversation to something else. Yeah. This gentleman can make news and create news and also create <laughs> excitement and happiness amongst the general public on social media. Have you ever done cocaine? Cocaine? Yeah. Uh, cocaine, the thing is, uh, in the movies, they used to t tell me, you are a boozer, you are a drunk in, as a character. So I so, okay. used to drink, uh, and, uh, and uh, I used to smoke and uh, black label, blue label, green label, yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm very scared about steroids as mm -hmm. a bodybuilder, as a sportsman. The, a lot of my colleagues uh, advise me, why don't you have this protein shake and mm -hmm. build and do yeah. this thing. So I always refuse because uh, it's a sh for a short time you get uh, like like silicon and all kind mm -hmm. of injection and stuff like that. So I always refuse and I go for countryside nice. food like Kankum, Mukunu and Kolakanda, Kanji, that type of thing. Yeah. That is very good and natural things. Yeah. But uh, it takes long time to get uh, see yeah. the result. In uh, modern world, these people, uh, they describe life in a different way. They say, life is short, so we want to see the good physique. So we take steroids or silicon things and we used to that. So in my case, I really love natural food, natural living and things like that. So, so never done cocaine in your life? Cocaine, I have seen. If you tell a lie, one lie, you need 100 lies to cover it. So you have seen yeah, amongst in, maybe your friends? Yeah, in a, if I tell this uh, in front of everybody, <laughs> I'm in trouble. Then, then you ask, uh, who drank <laughs> cocaine in front no, of no, no, no. Yeah. I'm not. I will assure you this. I think uh, I'm, we are not in the business of yeah. killing people on the spot. On the show. cocaine, the dangerous part. Asanka, uh, Sahabandhu. Today, you are Sahab with Ranjan, yeah. Sahabandhu. <laughs> so, worst part is cocaine is, they add cement also. Yeah. That's the thing. That's a key ingredient. Yeah. Cement, petrol. Cement, galson or something. Yes. I don't think the end user really is bothered about what goes into the product. I think what they are bothered about is the happiness and the excitement it perhaps gives. I don't think anybody who really wants to consume the drug worries about cement being in it. I'll tell you a story. One of our... Okay. This is not cocaine. He, he started from uh, uh, cigarettes. The, the, the yeah. dose is not enough. So he, he transferred to it, you know, marijuana, okay. that, uh, uh, cannabis. Correct. That, that dose also not enough. The mm. ritual. So he, he go to cocaine. Yeah. Cocaine and to heroin. Yeah. So he's a very rich person, a very good family background. He tried to steal money from uh, his mother's uh, almara and father's pocket and tried to get... Uh, uh, cocaine and heroin and um, they hide the thing because of yeah. the school and yeah, yeah, yeah. because of the president of their family they hide everything but uh, when the last stage come uh, comes uh, he hang and suicide i don't want to mention one of our actors 
also went through a similar yeah yeah because this thing is uh, when people think yeah like you said they think in your romantic life right. you can survive long right yeah that that kind of false uh, stories behind this when you use that you are strong and you can stay long and uh, you know <laughs> stay long and so hard. powerful yeah. and you can continue <laughs> uh, reps <laughs> yeah so uh, that's all false i think so that's why young youngsters okay. uh, students yeah. uh, attract to that and i want to tell to the media and tell to the people they use cement and gasoline and some kind of very uh, bad uh, chemicals to this uh, things so it destroy your very important uh, like sensitive organs like bladder kidneys lungs and everything so don't smoke don't uh, snort and smoke <laughs> Uh let's take a quick break we'll be back on the other side we've got more questions for the one and only Ranjan Ramanayaka with Asanka Sahab on the on the longest 5 minutes So next time if I make money from this project I'm going to AC this uh -huh. that is the plan uh, is it rolling that's the time to start no we are going uh, abhi bene va kata karne tane rolling yeah. the, the the tone the tone you you did you know this tone you have the tone every, everything is there yeah. i i notice those things ah huh? that tone hey focus you want to go home yeah. rolling mm. we want we have houses yeah. we want to go home we have wives to go and yeah, yeah. Uh, say yeah. hello to yeah. um everything <laughs> added in that rolling yeah. mm. Uh, <laughs> that is Kushan, by the way, the producer of the longest five minutes. <laughs> Can I have it, please, in between? Of course. Uh, cheers to you. Uh, this is uh, some Dalmaia coffee that we are mm. tasting. How's the coffee, sir? Cool tongue is inside. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that much hot. <laughs> uh he is having the he is having a time today. Only local movies for you. No Hollywood, or have you ever? wanted to or tried to be a part of a hollywood movie this is going to be interesting listen when i watch all these hollywood movies i say i thought i want to do a different thing show them what ranja yeah. could do <laughs> when you like, uh, uh, look at the moon uh, and ask for a moon you uh, at least you get a star no so i to my mind i said why you to go to hollywood and try 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 and dodge one horn so was a street boy and Keanu Sean Reeves? Connery Sean Connery and he worked in the funeral parlor so uh, we saw a lot of stories like Charles Bronson was a labor so why can't you try so there are big hollywood stars those days Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, Sylvester Stallone and all so i had that dream i am very shy to tell this to outside or you know in sri lanka you if you tell this story you criticize ha hey, yo you are going to hollywood are you crazy like, like that i'm scared to that so i went to hollywood director okay. one of my very good friend my my call him sir he is a friend of uh, spielberg so he is the one who brought indiana jones here mr chandran ratnam yes much loved who did uh, that according to matthew yeah he common man with uh, ben kingsley ben kingsley so uh, i went to him I, i told him sir i like to go to hollywood and try to be a hollywood actor this is Okay, Ranjan, but uh, uh, the thing is, if you get a feeling like that, go there and get failed. Yeah, get failed and get uh, reject and come. But one day you will uh, not regret it. But if you not go now, one day you will regret. So if you go and fail, it's kind of experience. Yeah. Go there. So you went there and they said, "What did they say? They tell, us the, tell us the actual thing." That yeah, they said. then I saw. I thought, I thought Hollywood is expecting me. <laughs> so i go there there's a big building in uh, hollywood boulevard okay. in uh, la they are the producers of uh, rambo and first blood movie big uh, blockbuster mm -hmm. movie so i went there with some photographs like i did in sri lanka i, I used to go to dickman's road les james beers house i said i want to be actor i'm ranjan ramnaik Okay, like that. Uh, uh, it worked here, yeah. so I thought in Hollywood also like that. <laughs> so I went there. There's all the Sudha bagas there. 
So the big doorman with huge guy. Yes. Yes. What can I do for you? They call always. Sir, no. Yeah. What can I do for you, sir? sir? I came from Sri Lanka. I'm a, a popular actor there. I want to be in Bollywood movies. What? <laughs> you want to be actor? Oh. Uh, we, we, we have cast and directors. Yeah. So you have to go to agency and you have to have a work permit to act in movies. Yeah. So he explained it. No, I said, I said, my English is also very bad. Yeah. So I can't even talk properly. I rejected and I chased from there. But, but I have been happy today. So six months I was there. I tried hard. What did you do in, during the six months? You had to work? I or? worked in the valet parking. Valet okay. parking. Uh, the rich people comes with their with big chavalets and Lamborghinis and like big Aston Martin. So they throw me the key. So I catch it like I park the thing. When Sri Lanka come, I run. I don't want to see my face because I'm a big actor here. Ah, Ranjan is in valet parking. So I have to run. And I hide and when they go, after they go, I come. I earn some money and go to English classes and we met some uh, casting directors and want to be actor. Tried hard, hard, hard. And uh, once I got a chance, I got selected for an audience. Okay. That's not a character. Be in the crowd scene. But uh, for that event, they need the work permit. Otherwise, agents can't hire outsider Correct. for the not even a, Ex, as, extra. as an extra. So O.J. Simpson life story, that kind of small things I got. I uh, I had the visa six months. I got extension another six months. And uh, I was there 18 months. Tried hard, hard, hard. Failed, rejected. Done. Done. So came I, back, then you came back here. I came back here. In the media said I tried to be a Hollywood actor. <laughs> when I come back, uh, I got an offer from all the real I got from outside, no, like a, ah, right, okay. So I got Bahubaria, okay, with Sangeeta, okay, it's a super yes. hit movie. And uh, the first one, Mohoti Mohota, Bahubaria, at Rose Vasanti. Then I saw once uh, Charlie Chaplin's The Great Dictator. I saw the titles, okay, story, scene play, writer, director, actor, uh, performer, uh, music director, one man, choreographer. Show. I thought, what a man! So I want to follow him. I wrote the story. I'm um, actor, 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 director, director sweet for, everything yeah. done by you. So it's a original story. It worked out well for you. It worked well. It became a super hit in the history. It's the third highest gross film in history. One is the Somaratna Disanayaka Suri Arana and uh, Siri Parakuma. And third one is my one. Superb. So we hope that uh, Mr. Ranjan Ramanayaka comes up with more movies like this and uh, he will make a lot of money and he will also donate some money to me. So at least, uh, can you sort out a valley permit for me or like a vehicle permit? What kind of permit can you give me? And the other thing is, in the movies we see heroes, no? Yeah. Heroes don't do bad things. Ah. Hero, heroes don't take valley permits. Heroes don't use liquor permits. So, I want to criticize others. Okay. If you want to point a finger to no, anyone. Point to finger to anybody. I should not allow them to point. Uh, you are talking about legalization. You also have a legalization no man. Yeah. So I am very scared and it's very hard thing, Asanka, mm. to live like this. I think people saw a side of you that they never imagined because when people imagine you as a movie star yeah. and as a parliamentarian, they think how I live. They think air conditioned bathrooms and yeah, gold carpets yeah, and yeah. Tigers walking around in the back garden, <laughs> things like that. But it doesn't happen like that with Mr. Ramanayaka. Maybe with some others too. We don't know. They haven't asked us to interview them. Uh, yeah, the thing is, I saw the Shah Rukh Khan. They are, yeah, always said, this is my house, like huge palaces and like that. I saw Bob Marley's interview. Hmm. He said, Very frank. The journalist, yeah, yeah, journalist yeah. asked, are you rich? Hmm. Then he said, what do you mean by rich? Big houses, cars, Lamborghini? No. Happiness. Happiness. Uh, if you are happy, you are rich. I always think, uh, Asanka, I am like a transit passenger. When the flight comes, you have to go. Even you are rich or poor, mm. you have to go. So, live happily. We, live, we have a short life. So, live happy and uh, do good to the public. Do good to the majority of the people. Uh, entertain them. Serve them and go. Yeah. Alright, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back on the other side. Uh, remember folks, the show is brought to you by Dalmai Coffee. Uh, brought to you by Fitz Retail. All the way from Germany. 
and we are very happy to have Ranjan Ramanayake uh, being featured on this episode of the longest 5 minutes there you go if you did notice that there is also a coffee dispenser that oh, is wow. given to us uh, we'll be back after this atthana very permit takke musakin kandu bae ne ona you know in the parliament record in dan hoda in the parliament there are there are 225 people uh, members in the parliament 100 mem- 100 members have liquor permits in our parliament according to my knowledge the most dangerous parliament in the world is like angola african countries uh, like uh, yeah zimbabwe and all anti corruption uh, cricket anti corruption alex marshall said the biggest race by race man in our parliament silang sumiti pala the biggest drug dealer in our parliament from nigambu side i have a court case against me though so i don't want to mention his name the biggest ethanol importers in our parliament some members killed more than 10 people there are cases against them chain snatchers in the parliament and soil uh, robbers cattle thief <laughs> Ayyo. So okay now now tell me this so uh, they are representing 22 million when we think about singapore parliament they are double doctors they are qualified like professors okay, so not not the qualification no, I understand. even even uh, uh, martin vikram singh went to i think grade 6 uh, qualification is not the most important thing i i thought i i saw one serial killer double doctor in uh, america he killed 100 virgins he raped and killed so then fbi couldn't find him because he's very well qualified mm. and mm-hmm. he he's like a, a cia guy very like sherlock holmes like he he's very intelligent he know how to hide the loopholes so do you mean to say that out of the 225 people in parliament yeah. no one is good oh, no 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 like i i can't say that yeah there are i can worship some people like I can who's say who's your some. favorite uh, name five people who are your favorites in parliament I, i can say uh, uh, honorable minister iran vikramnath okay he was a priest i have, and he is very holy man hmm. and i um, from my intelligence service still i couldn't find a, something wrong about something him. wrong about him and harshal silva professor he a member member of parliament is a honorable thing like it's it's a garu 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 kateyutu burtiya in this in this country the thing is the early stage like dalli senayaka like ds senayaka like my uncle vijay kumar dunga like dia swrd banda nayaka they were very rich they want to come to politics to spend that money after them jr times came jr jayawardena jr uh, introduced open economy for the open economy they need sponsors so all the all the rogues like all the killers drug dealers all the modalali kalugada modalali everybody funded them to become member of parliament and they gave money for the election and build all the stages and uh, give vehicles and money for the election campaign and the guys become member of parliament okay. then the rogues thought why we spend money for them why can't we go to the parliament why we spend money and get the permission to any give our like permit give our gas mm. permit with the water board why can't we they thought okay this time we'll try to be a member of parliament and they became so the they changed their costume they wore the national costume with the garland ratata hitati editor avank harakora editor avank malahora like that we, people see all the posters game harakora game chenora pasora and me minimarua kasipukare etro they bribed the nomination board they got the uh, ticket and they all become like they spend lot of money like 100000 200000 votes they came to the parliament and now they are representing 22 million so by the when something happened they take miniscoot and throw it and they take all the all the uh, <laughs> all the uh, chairs and throw it to all filth words to say path say who yeah all the bad that. words so 
when I go to the parliament, all the children in the balcony, they see. Ayyo, they are the people we see like. When we think about the other countries, developed countries, it's a very sad situation. So, that this my message in this interview, uh, all are responsible. Voters, voters have the biggest responsibility. They are the people who gave like 100, uh, 100,000, 200,000 votes to these people to come to the parliament. So, we are all part of the problem. We are all part of the problem. We will try to fix this problem after the break. Small break for us. <laughs>
to St. Thomas's and St. Peter's, like they, the prayers from Chilau, they teach the small kid, you have to tell to the principal, you are from Colombo. Then small kid say, Mama, I am from Chilau. No, don't never ever tell Chilau. You are close to St. Peter's. Mama, we are from Chilau, Marvel. Like that. So they teach, force to the child, tell lie. From the beginning, mm. from identity card to death certificate, yeah. they lie. One thing I know for sure is uh, Mr. Ramanaka would never lie about his age. He's 57 years old. Can you all believe it? 57 years old? Yeah, I, because by, when you lie one time, once, yeah. you need 100 words and lot of stress. And uh, in uh, that in that video, he asked, yeah. what, I always tell more. I say, close to 60. Yeah. He said, 60? I love to be 60, man. And uh, uh, act, like, act with young girls. Good point. <laughs> uh, don't we all? Okay, so here's another question to you. I, 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 I forget the papa. What you ask, you I miss the... Uh, why both sides are attacking you? Ah, no. So, uh, the thing is, they, my party and my colleagues want me to catch the other party's thieves only, not Ranjan. You can go to bribery commission, you, have, you can go to CID against other party, not to our party. That's what they always say. That That's the, that's the party, party policy is that don't touch our thieves. Don't go to bribery commission, allegations against our party people. But you can catch to us. Till that, we support you. If you touch to our party members, that's the end of the story. But in Europe countries, in films also, I saw it, even your kid, even your parents did a bad thing. You have to raise your voice. In this country, if Mahindraja Paksha did a lot of uh, proof, if they get proof even, the followers, like blind followers said, no, he is like saint. If Ranil becomes a singer to a bad thing, the followers, no, no. That's what happened to our country. Even my Tripal followers, they said, my leader is pure. People do mistakes. So we have to raise their mistakes and we have to show their mistakes and we have to force them to come to the right path. But followers are not doing blind followers are like slaves. There you go. Um, next question. Are you the jester or the joker of the parliament? Because you are anyway a very jovial character. Not yeah. Ramanayaka. Yeah. I hope I am not offending you with this question. No, no, no. It's but okay. do you think that sometimes your party, maybe other parties also, maybe an independent party, mm. uses you as a distraction Joe. for a bigger problem that's happening in the background? Uh, it's almost like going against the grain. Once there was a king like big king with a huge king, he sees it to his son, I'll give throne, mm. throne to you. You are, you become your Raja. And I'll give you three palaces, like Ramme, Suramme, Suba. Mm. I'll give all the beautiful girls to you, Antapure. Mm. And I'll give all the, all the facilities. Then he said, no, I refuse. I'll, I want to go to jungle and meditate. So when we think like that, we may be some upset, mental, mental, some yes, problem sir. because he refused everything and go to jungle. If if Mahinda said to Namal, Namal, why to get the throne? So all the people like, so uh, in this society, if somebody refuse things, I, I refuse uh, salary. Now I'm not going to be like example, but we are following that qualities. Mm -hmm. If somebody said, uh, uh, Ranjan is uh, try to be a hero. He refused uh, comfortable vehicles. He refused uh, the salary, hundred uh, thousand salary. I refused it two years because I, according to my knowledge, we owe. Uh, uh, today we got to know from I came from after COP meeting, uh, eleven trillion, eleven point nine trillion. We owe uh, the child born in this country of 500,000 to the World Bank. So, if somebody uh, refuse things, uh, people think he's a joker. He want to be a hero and he want to be a talk of the town. Like that. So, those titles gave me by rogues. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want character certificates from rogues. So, till I happy. Till I pay my bills from my own pocket. So, 
till I my trash when I say honest, I am not scared to anybody. They can say what they want. Male, I think uh, Sudhu has a crush on you. Well, we didn't see Ronnie. Oh, funny. Romance, I can't. <laughs> when you close your eyes, they are in there. You trust me. Yeah. Okay, can you? Good head massage. Yeah, no other. Okay, okay, boy. <laughs> right guys, we're back on the longest five minutes with me, Asanka Sabadu and Mr. Ranjan Ramanayaka. Of course, powered by Del Maya Coffee, brought to you by Fitz Retail, right here in Sri Lanka. There are some uh, interesting information that I will share with you about Fitz Retail and their Del Maya Coffee shortly. Final question to you, Mr. Ramanayaka. Yes. Do you ever think that you will be considered for the position of number one prime minister or president in years to come i'm not talking about the current or the next couple of years but years to come i'm sure it has crossed your mind but uh, do you think it will happen i think uh, according to my knowledge the script already written by the fate of fate and god and uh, nature but I think uh, in the constitution, it said to be a president or prime minister, you have to get married. But if you marry, you are going to be the most corrupted PM or president. Because when a married person becomes a prime minister or president, he has to serve his family. That's what happened in the whole history. As an example, like uh, Abdul Kalam, Narendra Modi, even Jesus, even Lord Buddha, he said uh, once, Rahule Kupanna Vadima Kathiuna. So that commitment, if you are a family man, 24 hours a day, you spend 75% for the family and 25% for the country. Even the good leaders like, uh, like Lee Kuan Yew even, Fidel Castro, Rahul Castro become. In our uh, politic, uh, politicians life, when we think about our life also, mm -hmm. our politicians life, yeah. Rajapaksa should be king. If, if somebody become a president of uh, or prime minister in the country if you are, have a big family family forced you to be a corrupt most of the time not all the time forced you to become a corrupt politician so in my case i'm unqualified now for that for, post. for that post but if i become a president or prime minister in this country i think uh, uh, this country is very blessed country if one good ag agriculture minister if one good fisheries minister can develop. We get but the sardine from Chile, but we have whole huge amount of fish around our island. In agriculture, if you throw a ambate, it becomes a big tree after five, six months. So this is a blessed country. This is the best environment country, not spoiled country. I don't know. In the history, most of the politicians sold our country to China. India and America. If I get a chance to rule the country, I think I can do big difference, but I don't think uh, because <laughs> you don't when, think when you catch thieves, I, I don't have manners. You know, like I, I'm scared like, like Rodrigo Dutarte, like uh, Lee Kuan Yew. Uh, with Lee Kuan Yew, you can't do any corruption. You know, he, he did the same. He did gave a big punishment to the Home Minister. Yes. Uh, I read a story. He yeah. said, "You have two options. Shoot yourself. Uh, yeah, shoot you. Either the, this is the window. You can jump from here, like that. So in the, Rodrigo Duterte himself, he'll kill more than twenty-six people. He stopped all the drug uh, business in Philippines. Yeah, and uh, be a single like like be a single uh, politician. You can work for the country, but if you are a, if you have a big family, it's very hard to do it. So, if you, yeah. Ranjan Ramanayaka, if we, if we hear a news bulletin that says President Ranjan Ramanayaka said this in a statement today, imagine that situation. Oh. When you are the president 
you think you will make all these changes happen little bit hard to do with uh, corrupt majority i told you the people also long term uh, they been corrupt like uh, from the birth certificate to death certificate you have to rehabilitate them hmm. it's very hard to because uh, politicians uh, according to my list the most corrupted people is not the politicians the puja kya is the priest is the most corrupted number one is puja kya priest second politicians third government servant like that the most corrupt job in the world is selling agama religion because religion. they they don't spend even a cent and they get three meals they get all the romantic life and all the bmws and all the vehicles angry type people they are very mm-hmm. uh, disturbed mind mm-hmm. and after that they try to earn money and uh, they do the same thing what their previous priest person they but they did to them done did to them very violent and violent uh, behavior to the country and after that you know what happened they get bypass surgeries when they get bypass they go to mount elizabeth politician is seen they, they have done seen more less than that that i mean they work hard mm. and they go to uh, they are electorate and spend their money and rob money and <laughs> give it to people but uh, for the priest without mm-hmm. investment mm. they are having luxury life in in, in rome also even in descoba uh, that uh, 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 who's that pablo pablo escoba pa- pablo sorry for the pronounce pablo escoba loving pablo i have seen all the yeah. um, narcos all the films of him he once he uh, bribe pope also from a pope there are so many hidden priest i came from the cope meeting today mm-hmm. with sunil hanunetti eti issue came there are 19 depositors in eti case yeah. so i asked can i have the depositors list you love list don't you <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know in that list first to 15 you know who are the biggest investors biggest depositors ara puja ke metero aratero metero na 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 himi all the himis and uh, ara swami me swami and ara kapua me lebbe ara and all you can you imagine asan kamalli what are the amounts i'm not exaggerating 20 crores 30 crores 50 crores 80 crores like that me rata wedi me vinashakale palakyo sa puja ke so that's the real fact very well the uh, old people in the last statement they wrote everything to the temple everything to the church no audit nobody audit. If, if, if we go to audit they will try to kill you rangiri damul vihare once our one of my very good friend education minister he said he tried to investigate he tried to audit it so the priest said okay i'll give 100 crores don't touch don't try to audit it some priests they have a gun in their thigh okay knife here sadhu asai piye kakule save money to this country you had be a an agamak katta feva karannati like party katta feva karannati leader ke nek kenno ne single ki nek thamai for 1 rupee we earn in this country 90 percent we spend it for loans so what is the future in our country so i know where the money is can you give me a little more money so i can yeah. invest in an air conditioning yeah, money system? is i know where is the money is i raise some names no yeah. so they have the money yeah. so money this uh, is go to uh, outside of the country yeah some some money is in panama papers sometime some money in dubai uh, dubai uh, accounts but those countries also uh, not uh, support to us to catch thieves yeah. because all the countries also corrupt i am not accusing of every country yeah. like swiss bank uh, swiss bank the the even muammar gaddafi even uh, bin laden even uh, uh, uganda uh, idi amin they invest their diamonds uh, uh, gold and everything deposit in swiss banks when the dictator dies all these things uh, may may belongs to the uh, may, may Bank. bank so well, last time we, our dilrushi uh, uh, vikram singh uh, the bribery commission chairperson she tried to go to dubai and uh, they asked for the account details and all kind of stuff from the dubai they said no no well, we never betrayed our account holder because uh, we are we are with the, uh, we have, we don't want to expose our details 
so if if they expose one thief if they expose one corrupt politicians all the corrupt politicians who kept their money in the bank they uh, they withdraw they withdraw the money and they go it's happened to uh, that pablo escobar also pablo escobar pa pablo escobar so uh, so it's a very hard thing you can 100% uh, stop corruption yeah, exactly. you can reduce the corruption but if i get a chance i know how to do it because i have vision and i know uh, where the money is and i know without any relationship i can put everybody in the jail so i hope you get a chance to <laughs> be that sorry for the long answer, answer sir that's okay thank you so much thank sir. you very much thank It's you very much it's been a rather insightful explosive discussion on the longest five minutes this has truly been the longest five minutes and the other thing is i thank you very much for inviting me this is my first uh, english interview sorry for my broken english because i i criticized my english master in the very beginning when i was a student and these days i am studying uh, english language through british council in the parliament in the next interview i'll give throw my fluent english at you. english next time and the other thing is uh, i think media people like you can do greater job hmm. to thank you very much sir okay i have kept you till 12 20 but it's interesting maybe when you try talking in english it's like like <laughs> putting gamma <laughs> putting gamma <laughs> uh so thank folks, you very much for invite me for the interview and uh, tell something about this uh, this is the sponsor, main sponsor that is okay. yeah uh, so we got delmai coffee hmm. i have given mr ranjan also delmai coffee so we've been up for uh, say 3 hours at least right 3 hours 3 hours so in this interview hopefully we will cut it to about 25 minutes yeah thank you very much guys it's the longest 5 minutes bye थैंक यू सर बट